You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I love Notion. I really, I really do. But I do not enjoy copying and pasting kind of like from my browser into Notion or like data scraping into Notion. Something about the little clunkiness of not having a free flowing grabby grab. I don't know what grabby grab means, okay? I don't know how to speak a lot of times. But what I do know is that if I'm ever trying to do something regarding data entry or finding a list of people that I could reach out to for cold outreach, I run a content services business for apps and uh, I do cold outreach, but getting all of these emails aggregated, I usually put them in Notion eventually, but I don't really like the process that I have. So I thought of something that's very minor, right? Like very minor, but it is gonna be Pretty impressive, I'd have to say. Thank you to Magical for sponsoring this video. All right, so I got this list of LinkedIn profiles that are based off of software company marketing leadership. And what I wanna do is essentially grab all this data and put it in Notion. But like I said, I cannot stand copying and pasting stuff into Notion. I would much prefer it would be a seamless process, like copy and pasting it into a table. So let me show you how that can be done. First of all, I'm gonna use this cool app called Magical, a little bit more on them in a minute. That's gonna essentially help me find their magical email. So let's go through here and you'll see. So I got their magical email, okay. This is pretty cool. Copy paste, oh, look at that. That's nice. Now I can do a lot more with this tool. Um, I could actually, if I wanted to, actually like auto scrape it. But say for example, I didn't have this handy dandy tool on me. I would have to go in and manually kind of scrape this way, back and forth, right, get all their little info. What's their job title? All very important bits of information for sure. But let's say I just wanted to do this, this LinkedIn profile by Magical. Okay, let's just cut to the chase and grab it, all right? Let's open the destination and you'll see, boom. It just grabbed all my open tabs, gave the information of all these people, because of course it did. And it's also adding to my list of people. As you can see, Josh Epstein's at the bottom. So if I did this, press the button, I could either do just this tab or all tabs. So let me do all tabs real quick. All right, awesome, that's great. As you can see, it added all of these right here. Now, that was a really quick process. And before I show you the second part of how I'm gonna get this into Notion extremely easily and turn it into a database, let's uh, switch to a little comment from our sponsor. So I get 10 times more done in a day than most of my friends and people I meet. I know, I know, pretty cool. And the secret to my productivity isn't any one app. It's that while most people think in terms of tasks, I think in terms of workflows, similar to this video. Because if you break every project down into individual tasks, you miss out on automating all the mini tasks that come in between the tasks themselves. As you noticed, I was copying and pasting, much less doing this. I have the perfect example to show you today to illustrate what I mean. So I make videos for applications, right? Yes, yes I do. And one of my workflows is to pull those new applications into a Google Sheet. Then organize them into one of my favorite Notion databases and assign them to researchers on my team and people to reach out for cold outreach to see which one makes the most sense to create videos about and for. Those are the tasks and they don't seem like there's much to automate, right? But as a workflow, there's a lot you can do to make it faster. So first is the research and there's a no code automation tool called Magical that I use to make this step super easy. It's a free Chrome extension that connects any two web pages. So in this case, I connected LinkedIn and Google Sheets. The first time you set it up, you get to pick which info you wanna pull into a Google Sheet. So you can see in what I did, I've got it set up to take the 10 tabs, or I guess all the tabs I had open, from LinkedIn and pull in their name, email, company name, location, and much more. Here's what's cool. To move it into my Google Sheet, it was just one click and the research part is done. It took 10 seconds maybe, whatever that amount was. And I want to move these over to Notion. So all I do here is copy these apps and paste them into Notion. It's gonna be really simple, so just watch this. So let's just take this in its entirety, right? So I'm on this new page right here. I'm gonna call it Potential Contacts. Potential Clients actually would be better. Then I'm gonna simply copy and paste it and it's gonna get into a table, right? That's awesome. But then all I have to do is simply press the three dots is simply press the header row and check it off, then press the three dots, turn it into a database. And that top row becomes that. And I can type out potential clients and I can simply make a select property that is for status or stage maybe in the process. So I could say, if they haven't been reached out to lead, I can copy and just drag all this down. Actually it'd be best, boop and boop. All right, then I could do reached out, accepted or denied. 
Now this is a very basic one, just like a first step-by-step -step process as to whether they even accepted the, the call, which is kind of the premise of getting going. I could make a more advanced one here, but then simply have a view for stage, that is leads, right? So that whenever somebody on the team reaches out or I reach out, boom, gets moved to that next stage. So it is a pretty simple step-by-step -step process, but the fact that I was able to get 53 contacts in here in no time is pretty important to call out because time is not only money, but time is sanity, let's be real. So thank you again to Magical for sponsoring this video to make this a lot easier. And thank you for watching this to the very end. Make sure to check out this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.